hold still for me. Your shirt collar won't fix itself. Getting ready takes a long time, but I want you to look the best you can if you're going to accompany me to my meetings. That's my good pet. Here, I'm nearly finished. That's a finishing touch. Your favorite necklace. You remember this, right? You haven't forgotten my little command, have you now? I need you to wear it every time we go out. As long as you're with me, no one will question you. But it's best that we keep up with this rule. You're a lucky thing. You have me to remember all these things for you. All you have to do is sit, be pretty, and do as I say. Today's meeting is especially important. All eyes will be on you while I speak. <laughs> it's okay. I promise you, it is not going to be nearly as scary as you might think. All of the other governors are normal people, just like me. And you're not scared of me, right? Right. They just want to hear what you have to say. And if anyone or anything bothers you, you just have to let me know and I will deal with it. But I'm sure that there would be no need. Everyone is always so nice to the newest pets, especially when they're so helpful. And you're going to be so very helpful to us today. Let's just go over what you're going to say one more time, okay? I would normally do most of the talking, especially as it's your first time, but it's best that they hear everything from your lips. Everything about the rebel hiding places, identities, plans. And it's all right. You're doing the right thing. You'll be able to put all of this stress out of your mind at last. You'll just have to tell them what you told me, and we'll take it from there. You're being a very good pet for me, and it makes me so very happy. I'm sorry to put you through all this. I promise it won't take very long. We'll be back home before you even know it. Remember, you're just doing what I asked of you, so there's no need to worry about all those stressful decisions. I shall handle everything for you. Hmm. Have a seat on the bed. And move a little closer, please. Shh. You relax better when I stroke your hair, right? Just let me do my thing. What's worrying you? All that matters is that you feel safe and relaxed with me, no matter how long that takes. And if we end up being late, I'll take full responsibility for it. And if you are still stressed after we talk, I'll just reschedule for another day. And of course I'd do that for you. And as I said, all I want is to take good care of you and make you happy. Is that still so hard for you to believe? It's not like being under my control and being happy are mutually exclusive things, after all. In fact, I'm sure you'd be so much happier if you just let yourself go and gave in more often. Just like that. Just give in and relax. Good pet. And 
you'll shine away from me again. I've noticed this about you, and I find it very interesting. You enjoy giving in to me very much. When you do, you feel good, and you wouldn't mind following my commands. But, despite how nice it feels, you keep stopping yourself, telling yourself that it feels wrong, almost like you're trying to prove something. Well, it's just you and I here, and you don't have to prove anything to me. Trust me, I've seen firsthand just how stubborn you can be. You've shown it countless times. But now that you know that there's nothing to fear, isn't it best that you put that strength of yours elsewhere? Such as letting every remaining rebel see what they are missing too? With any luck, we can always get one of your old friends to join us here. Would my pet like that? Hmm. You never take me up on my offers to treat you to something. What is it? What can I do to make you trust me? You can come to every single meeting from now on and be involved in all of our planning. The only force that we'll use will be to capture the other rebels but we'll be so gentle when we brainwash them. I'm gentle with you, aren't I? Today is not the day for this, is it? I guess it will take a little more for you to fully open. But we're nearly there. The cracks are already there. And the secrets have already started pouring out of your cute lips. Now, hold still. I can't have you undo all the progress that we've made so far. So, I'm just going to take this pretty thing off your neck. You remember the dove, right? It's been a while since I last used it like this. But sleeping might just be what you need right now to stop overthinking. Focus on the dove. Remember the way that it catches the light and draws your attention. Drawing your eyes in until it's all that they can see. Shh. By this point... It doesn't take much for you to be hypnotized. You just have the kind of mind that relaxes quietly and easily. And as long as you know how to relax, you can fall into a trance. That's all there is to it. Just the dove in your mind. I'm gonna hold the dove up. Just above your eyes. And you're going to keep looking at it. Follow it with your eyes. Never take your eyes off. You're so good at being hypnotized. You can help but watch the dove. Notice how it moves as you breathe. Slowly and deeply. That's good. Follow the dove with your eyes and listen to the sound of my voice. Breathe easily and watch the dove back and forth, back and forth. Notice your eyes becoming heavy as they relax. Focus on your eyelids. How tired they are from following the dove. This is all it takes for me to put you in a trance now. And you can't resist it. 
Each breath makes you more and more tired for me. Until your eyelids are like heavy weights. So heavy and tired that they just want to shut. And as your eyelids grow heavy, you go deeper, deeper into the dove, into the light, the light that brings warmth and calm. You need, no, you want to be warm and calm so that you can drift off into a deeply relaxing sleep. You know well that the moment your eyes close, you'll fall into a deep sleep where only my voice matters. Which is why you're struggling to keep them open, fighting the urge to let them remain closed with every blink, fighting your desire to sleep. So heavy and tired, knowing that you're so close to sleeping for me. I'm gonna help you sleep now. I'm gonna count down from five to one. And when I reach one, you'll be completely hypnotized, closing your eyes and going to sleep. Ready to do as I say. Five. Falling deeper and deeper into trance. Four. Deeper and deeper still. Three, letting everything go. Two, becoming helplessly obedient in. One, all mine. Close your eyes and sleep now. My pet, sleep and let me take control. Sleep, sleep. Uh, maybe I should take you to the meeting just like this. Tell me, my little pet, what is it that you're going to talk about today? Good, so good, so dreamy and thoughtless, but you can still talk, and that's all I need. Yes, I think that is precisely what I'm going to do. That works out great for both of us, doesn't it? Like this. You don't have to worry about anyone thinking you're a traitor. You're just doing as I say, and it makes you feel so warm and relaxed. Let's see how well this is going to work out. I'd like for you to open your eyelids, but find that you don't have to wake up from your blissful sleep. Well done. Now, arise, face me. Well, anyone would be able to tell that you're in a trance from a mile away, but I think this face suits you. Heavy-lidded and agreeable, the perfect qualities for my pant. You should be like this more often. What do you think? That's right. Always so stressed, aren't you? My poor thing. 
Now make sure that you're relaxed all the time in my presence. But let's get this conference over and done with first. Come on, take my arm. Good pet. Let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cameron. Thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. Special thank you to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Vinoin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, and Nikki Pele. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do. It truly does mean the world to me. If you're interested in getting my Patreon for not safe for work extras or even audios early, be sure to check it out. And it'll be in my pin comment down below in the link tree. Thank you all so, so much once again. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.